three, two, one. Hello in YouTube land. Armando here with another exciting review. I've been a little busy. I've been hunting for toys. I've been tending to medical problems. I've been getting my health back in order. I've been, uh, I've been banging my girlfriend. <laughs> Maybe I should stop that and I can heal up quicker. Anyway, uh, today I found something very special, but before I show you what I found, let me play Mother Load. All right, here we go. Da, 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 da. Look, it's the new Iron Man. Ooh, let me move it this way. See this artwork here? Looks like a knight. It's very cool. All right, now look at, let me move the camera up. See that? That's pretty cool. Look, the suit's very streamlined. No visible joints. It's like liquid armor or something, you know, like in the comics. It says, Iron Man jets through the skies, ready to blast the bad guys. Iron Man file dans le ciel, prêt à battre les vilains. Iron Man surca los cielos, listo para acabar con los vilanos. Iron Man cruza os sus, pronto para derrotar os malefactores. Okay. And then right there, look. We get blurriness. It's blurry. Zoom in, focus, focus. Damn you, Logitech, damn you. Damn you, Logitech. Are you hearing me? People that work for Logitech, damn you. Focus, focus, damn you, focus. All right, let's shine some light on you. There you go, there you go. Look, three sad onions. Why, oh, why onions are you sad? That's a shout out to Stuart Ashens across the pond. Yes, yeah, Stuart Ashens himself has figured out the sad onion phenomenon. Look at that. Go to his website, ashens.com, and you too can learn about the onions and why are they sad. Yes, three sad onions. Anyway, let's get to the good stuff. Now, look, there's Ant-Man. There's the Mighty Thor and who else? Ooh, Black Panther. And Captain America, yes. Uh, now, this Iron Man, I've been looking everywhere for him. You see him right there? Well, let's get him out of his prison here. Uh, hey, look, there's a UPC number. Want to look it up in your, at your local store? You work at uh, Walmart or Target, see if you're getting these in. I picked this one up at Toys R Us. Look, see the number? There's a little six and three zero five zero nine five zero five two four and then a little one. Part number or PN one two three four four zeros and then five eight eight two. And look at stamp with a number, look. Seventy thousand six hundred and fifty one. Aspo.com Avengers. Alright. Well, this calls for specialist equipment, folks. We're going to need the box cutter of freedom. Yes, folks, look. It's the box cutter of freedom. Oh, look at all that rust on there. Ah, yes. Full of tetanus and all its glory. All right. Uh, what you do here, uh, there's a little bit of cello tape here. You slice that open right there. Slice the cello tape right here. Yay for cello tape. Yay. And then you do that little number. You stab it and pull. Now, what we do, we pull it out here from the top like this. Uh huh. Yes, yes, we pull it out. And then, uh, yank it out of there. Okay. Move the box out of the way. This is the Spartan Athlon Blue. 
I've been having trouble collecting these figures. I haven't found them all at once, you know. When I did find them all at one time, I didn't have enough money. I did get the Warthog. There was videos on that. Two Master Chiefs. But um, I got this at an HEB store. Now, they haven't reordered these. So I'm going to have to go search for them. Or have to order them online. And at least get Buck in this line. Anyway, Athlon Blue out of the way. Yay. Oh, yeah, before we get to Iron Man, look, I built a shelf behind me. Look. See my window unit right there? Now, look. Look at all these figures there. Wow. Now, pull back. Look how many figures are up there. Hey, look, there's Michael Jackson. See him? Right there. See? You see all the Titan heroes? So they started making them. But yeah, look. I put a I put a D ring right here. See that's a D ring. It's a coat hanger right here. This is just plywood that I cut. And it's on hinges, so yes, I can open the window and remove the AC if I need to. Just a little idea there if anybody wants to make one. Yes, there's R2 on that end. There's Luke Skywalker, Rey, Kylo Ren, Dark Raiders in the back, a bunch of Stormtroopers, Fully Posable Hulk, Talking Thor, all the works. Anyway, all right, back to Iron Man. All right, what has he got? He's got, um, well, he's strapped in. We're going to need the Craft Scissors of Freedom. Yes, folks, look, it's the Craft Scissors of Freedom with serrated teeth. All right, snip here. See right there? Snip, snip, Good. snip, 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 snip. He's out, yay! All right, move this out of the way. All right, let's check out Iron Man. All right, he looks like he's in cryogenic freeze. Just came out of the CNC milling machine. Tony Stark just made this new armor. I think he appears like this in the Avengers animated cartoon. I'm not sure. I haven't watched it all that much. But I had a hell of a time finding this figure. Very lightweight. Let me see. Ball jointed shoulders. Yes. Wrist turn. Yes. Like he's got a blue arc reactor in a diamond shape. Look, you can do the splits. All right, this is weird. Look, the gang hinge joint is pushed further. It's not centered on the crotch, it's up towards the front. You see this? And they cut it in a T shape. Right here, because they knew that they were screwing up on the others. That way, he could sit down like this. Okay? Now I can give me the Iron Patriot later. Iron Patriot. <laughs> it's a repaint of the of the other Iron Man. There's a cheap Iron Patriot. There's like two Iron Patriots out, maybe three. I'm not sure. There was a talking one. Uh, look, he's got silver on the neck. You can turn his head. Very nice paint work. Extreme close up. Oh no, extreme close up. All right, let's see if I can stand him up. His feet are facing forward. Yay! New Iron Man! Yay! I think he's going to be available in a gift set at Target. If they're not there now, they'll be there soon. Just like the Guardians of the Galaxy. 
And yes, it's going to have an exclusive Drax the Destroyer figure. So if you haven't got any Guardians of the Galaxy, it would be the time to get them when you see the box set. And then there's going to be a box set on these figures. I don't know who's going to be the exclusive though. Because I got him and Cap and, and Thor, you know, with the ball joints, which is cool. I've been waiting for this one. Very nice. Look, we're in 10 minutes, 32 seconds. We're jamming out to Mother Load from Kevin McLeod. I'll give credits there at the end. In fact, uh, let me see. I think I got it right here. There you go. See that? <laughs> Mother Lou, Kevin McLeod, and Competech. All right. All right, there we go. So, yep, that's time. Oh, yeah, check out his hand. Look, he's got a. Maybe I'll paint the palm. Oh, no, the hand of Iron Man. Yay! Oh, look, a repulsor on his hand. Extreme close up. Well, do you think that's a repulsor? Who knows? Could be. It could be the the <laughs> could be the sewer system, and that's where he shoots waste at while he's in space. It recycles it. So, oh look, the audio noticeably went low. What happened? Power failure? Who knows? All right, twelve minutes in, guys. This is a very cool Iron Man. If you see this guy, pick him up. He's worth it. If you have a collection of uh, Titan heroes, hey, go for it. I love these figures, so I thought he was cool. So go pick one up if you like these. I found this one at Toys R Us, but I'm sure Walmart gets them in too. But they just disappear, and they might end up at your local landfill, Goodwill, or thrift store. You see them there, pick them up. You can always paint them a different color, and you have a different armor. So, um, if you like this video, leave a comment below. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. If you hate the video, leave a comment below. I'll easily answer you. Uh, thanks for watching. I want to send you all my positive energy. Wish you all the best of luck. At whatever you're doing and all of your endeavors. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Okay? You're building a interdimensional porter like on sliders. Like cue ball. You know, where he... You ever see that show Sliders on Sci-Fi Channel? You know, we made that uh, that device, and you just it's like a remote. You, you open a portal, and you jump into an alternate dimension. You know, where Elvis Presley's the president, and MacGyver's a real guy, and, you know, all kinds of weird stuff. Yes, if you're doing that, pull it off, man. Look me up. Hey, who knows? I might be on YouTube on there. <laughs> Anyway, whatever you're doing, I hope it's the best. I wish you tons of love. I don't care what it is. Even if you commit any murder, I mean, hey, get away with it. Too many people in the world. Go for it. All right. This is Armando signing out. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm adding on to this video. If you're still watching, uh, that was the end of the video. Uh, I forgot to give a shout out and uh, rest in peace to Chris Cornell from Soundgarden. Uh, Chris Cornell was a very good singer, uh, songwriter, excellent voice. Uh, wow, he, he he made some cool songs. Like he did like uh, Live to Rise, uh, like on the Avengers. Uh, he did that uh, for James Bond, the Casino Royale. Uh, he, he wrote a lot of uh, music for different movies. He even did like the one on Man of Steel. The best one was uh, Live to Rise. That one was cool. If, if you have the Blu-ray of, uh, of the Avengers, uh, he's in there. 
uh, the videos in there, or you can look it up on YouTube. And uh, it's a great loss. You know, it's kind of suspicious saying that it was suicide, that they found him hanging, like with something around his neck. You know, kind of like Robin Williams or David Carradine, same thing. You know, it's very suspicious. I see a, I see like a trend forming here, you know, like, like a pattern, like as an assassin's pattern. Somebody paid somebody, some hired assassin, some hitman to take him out. Yeah, sure, they can blame the drugs. and stuff. Somebody took him out. Record executive, make more money if Chris is gone. The same way they did to Michael Jackson or Prince. David Carradine, he was always challenging, you know. Well, he wasn't. They were challenging him. You know, and he goes overseas to film a movie and they kill him. He was in pretty good health. He saw him in Kill Bill. And then they said, oh, he was in some kind of weird sex thing and they found him hanging in his room. Which is bullshit. David Carradine's not going to do that. They just trying to smear his name in death. I mean, Bruce Lee wasn't happy that he he did the, you know, that show on TV a long time ago. But it was Bruce Lee's idea. Uh, but that, it doesn't matter. David Carradine was a well, he was a pretty good guy, and they took him out. And they waited till he 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 let his guard down. They waited till he was in his hotel room, rope around his neck. Same for Robin Williams. Oh yeah, he was depressed. I mean, he, come on, he was at home. Somebody told him, hey, look. Well, or something happened there to make money. Somebody got money. Somebody got paid off somewhere. I mean, it's very suspicious. Rope around the neck around David Carradine. Rope around the neck around Robin Williams. Rope around the neck around Chris Cornell. Or exercise equipment or bungee cords or whatever the hell it is. Very suspicious pattern. I see something here. Anyway, um, it's a tragic loss. Uh, he was a very good singer. And uh, we've lost a lot of good people this year. I lost my uncle, my favorite uncle, my mom's brother. Uh, they lived up in Waco. And, uh, you know, he was pretty sick. I just, uh, I, I, I got sick at the time and I couldn't go see him. He died right on Easter. I had the worst Easter. I didn't, I didn't make an Easter video for you guys because, you know, he passed away. And I just, Waco's kind of far from me. I couldn't travel that far over there, so. I just couldn't make it, man. Well, that's enough of the personal stuff. But, yes, rest in peace, Chris Cornell. Oh, and, and, and Roger Moore. Yeah, we lost Roger Moore, too. What the hell? To cancer? Damn. Roger Moore was cool. Did you see him on Alias? He was one of the the guys on that council or whatever. <laughs> but, you know. Roger Moore was more the lover, and Sean Connery was more the assassin, as far as James Bond goes. I'm a Pierce Brosnan guy myself. I love Pierce Brosnan. He, he's my favorite Bond. You know, um, that last one he made, that last movie, that one was awesome. With Halle Berry, I got to say that's my favorite one. But, um, hey, at least we still have Dave Mustaine. Dave Mustaine, you rock, man. You're in your 50s and you're still rocking out like that. And you still make some of the best music on this planet. Better than Metallica. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Better than Metallica. And, and you used to... You taught Hetfield how to play the fucking guitar and all that shit. Oh, sorry I used the F word. But uh, screw Metallica. Megadeth is way better. You know, the, it's, it's metal with a little jazz in there, I guess. That's what you would call it. But thank God we have Dave Mustaine. And he's not a Democrat, he's not a Republican, so he's still a cool guy. Anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. Rest in peace, Chris Cornell. Rest in peace, Roger Moore. And my uncle, well, rest in peace. I ain't going to say his name, but um, yeah, I just forgot to add that to my video. I was going to do a video, but I'm going to add that to my Iron Man video. If you're still watching, this is going to be added on at the end. So we'll see how it turns out. Okay. All right, folks. Thanks for listening. Um, if you're a spiritual person, pray for the soul of Chris Cornell. He finds his way to the halls of his ancestors and his family. 
He's out there rocking out right now with Freddie Mercury and all the greats. So, rest in peace, Chris Cornell. We're going to miss you. And goodbye, Roger Moore. But rock on, Dave Mustaine. Hey. Yeah. Hey, and Ronnie James Dio. Ronnie's up there, too. <laughs> like <this. laughs> All right. Peace out, guys. Thanks for listening.